hello students welcome back to engineers academy do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time now we are going to solve this problem which says that part of control linkage for an airplane consists of rigid member cbd and a flexible cable ab if a force is applied to in d of the member and causes a normal strain in the cable 0.0035 millimeter per millimeter determine the displacement of point d originally the cable is on stretch so this is the initial condition of the cable when there is uh, force p applied at point d what what it does is that this uh, cbd control linkage which is rigid uh, rotates by an angle of theta so when this happens then this uh, ab wire stretches and there is some change in its length so this point b will move somewhere here and there will be change in the length of this AB. So we can say that the initial length of AB is this when this CBD linkage is vertical. So we can find the initial length and when, when there is some angle theta then this point B will move somewhere here. So let's say that this point is let's say B dash. So the final length after rotation is we can say LAB dash. So we can say that the strain the normal strain in wire AB will be equal to the change in length of AB divided by the initial length of AB and this change in length of AB will be equal to LAB dash minus LAB divided by LAB and now if I cross multiply LAB with this so we can say that uh, we can write that sigma AB into LAB is equal to LAB dash minus LAB. We are comparing, we are equating these two equations. We are equating this side with this side, right? So we can write the equation like this. And if I bring this to the other side of equation, it will become positive. So we can write that this will be LAB dash will be equal to LAB plus this into AB. Now we, we are given this length, we are given this and we are given this. So we can find this length, right? So we are given this 400 and we are given this 300. And initially this CBD linkage is vertical. So if this is vertical, we can consider this right angle triangle and using Pythagoras theorem, we can find the initial length, the initial unstretched length of cable AB. So we can say that the initial unstretched length of cable AB will be equal to 400 square plus 300 square under the square root using the Pythagoras theorem this will give us 500 mm. So now putting that LAB here in this equation so this will be 500 plus this is given which is 0 0.0035 so 0 0.0035 into 500. So this will give us the final length of that cable AB so 500 plus 0 0.0035 into 500 and this is equal to so the stretch length of cable AB is 501.75 mm now we are asked to find we are asked to determine the displacement of point D so the displacement of this point D so for the displacement of this point D we must we must find this angle theta So now let's consider this triangle, this A, A, C, B dash triangle. So for A, C, B dash triangle, we can say we know this length, which is 501.75. We know this length, which is 400. And we know this length, which is 300 mm. So we, we want to find, if we somehow find this angle, let's say that this angle is angle alpha. So initially, this C, uh, CBD linkage was vertical. So if we find this alpha, so we will be able to find this angle theta. So angle theta will be equal to alpha minus 90 degree. So then we will be able to find the displacement of that uh, point D. So first we have to find this angle theta. And then using the small angle approximation, we will be able to find 
the small displacement of this point D, let us say that this small displacement of point D is let us say theta D. So, by using the small angle approximation we will be able to say that theta D will be equal to R theta and the radius since this rod is rigid and it is uh, this point D is moving about uh, rotating or revolving about that point C. So, we can use this approximation and since the angle is the angle will be very small. So, obviously, we will be able to use this and we will be considering that this uh, displacement is very, very small and and this arc is approximately linear. So, if this arc is approximately linear, we can always use the, the small angle approximation uh, which is S equals to R theta. So, to find angle alpha, we will be going to use the law of cosines again. So, we can say that uh, L A B dash square will be equal to this 400 square and again since this CBD rod is rigid so this length will remain the same this will be 300 so 400 square plus 300 square you can say 400 square plus 300 square minus 2 into 400 into 300 and cos of alpha and we know this as well so we can say that this will be equal to 501 0.75 square. So, we can rearrange this equation and we can say that um, if I bring this term to this side of equation, so that will become positive and this will become negative on that side. So, we can say that plus 2 into 400 into 300 cos of alpha is equal to 400 square plus 300 square minus and dividing both sides of equation by 2 into 400 into 300. So, we will be able to find cos of alpha. So, now cos of alpha is 400 square plus 300 square minus 501.75 square divided by 2 into 400 multiplied by 300. This gives me cos of alpha equals to minus 0. 007304 and if I take cos inverse of this answer so this gives us angle alpha equals to 90.4185 degrees and now we will be able to find that angle theta so that angle theta will be equal to this so we can say that theta is equal to 90.4185 minus 90 and similarly, this will be equal to, we can say that theta will be equal to 0 0.4185 degrees. And to use the small angle approximation, we must uh, convert this uh, theta into radians. So, we can say that this will be equal to, now 2 pi radian is equal to 360 degrees. So, this will be equal to, so we can say that uh, this answer minus 90 is our desired angle. Then this answer multiply by 2 pi divided by 360, this gives us 0 0.007304, 0 0.007304 radians. So now once we find that angle theta, that's then that small displacement of point D will be equal to this and the radius will remain the same. The radius will remain the length of this uh, rigid rod CBD which is 300 plus 300 which is 600. So, we can say that the small displacement of that point D is R, R the radius which is 600 multiplied by this theta angle in radians. So, 0 0.007304 or we can say that this answer multiplied by 600. So, which is equal to 4.383 millimeter. So, this is the solution for this particular problem. I hope uh, all this discussion will help you in your learning. Let me know in the comments if this helps. Do subscribe Ingenious Academy for the solution of such more problems from Mechanics of Materials by R.C. Hibler.